Hi everyone, in this video of mensuration, we are going to study about what is mensuration, area and perimeter of some plane figures and how the area of trapezium is derived. Let us first know what is mensuration. A branch of mathematics which concerns itself with measurement of length, perimeter, area, volume of plane and solid figures is called mensuration. Now what are plane figures? Plane figures are those having two dimensions that is length and breadth. For example, square and rectangle. Now, solids are those having three dimensions, that is, length, breadth and height, for example, cube and cuboid. Now, let us recapitulate some important concepts related to plane figures. First, perimeter. The perimeter of a plane figure is the total length of its boundary. For example, in case of a rectangular field, the sum of all the sides of the field is its perimeter that is length plus breadth plus length plus breadth is equal to twice of length plus twice of breadth is equal to two common in bracket l plus b so perimeter is equal to twice of length plus breadth now we come to area the area of a plane figure is the measure of the surface enclosed by its boundary for example, in case of rectangular field, the measure of a surface or region enclosed by its sides is called its area. That is, area is equal to length into breadth. Now, how is it derived? Always remember, area of any given shape is equal to total number of unit squares that cover the shape without overlaps. So, if we can simply count the number of unit squares within any given area, we shall get the area of that figure. For example, in this particular rectangle, we have total of 20 units squares. Now, each unit square is of side 1 cm. So, the area of the given rectangle is equal to 20 square centimeters. Further, if we observe, total length is equal to 5 centimeter and total breadth is equal to 4 centimeter. Area of rectangle is equal to 20 square centimeter, which is equal to 5 into 4, which is equal to length into breadth. Therefore, we can say area of rectangle is equal to length into breadth. The various units for measuring area are square centimeter or centimeter square, square meter or meter square, hectare, etc. Now, let us revise area and perimeter of some plane figures. First, square. Area is equal to side into side. Perimeter is equal to 4 into side. Rectangle. Area is length into breadth. Perimeter is twice of length plus breadth. Triangle. Area is half into base into height. Perimeter is side 1 plus side 2 plus side 3. Parallelogram. Area is base into height. Perimeter is twice of side plus base. Rhombus. Area is half into diagonal 1 into diagonal 2. Perimeter is 4 into side. Circle. Area is pi r square, where value of pi can be taken as 22 by 7 or 3.14. Perimeter, which is also called circumference of the circle, is equal to 2 pi r. Now, let us study area of trapezium. Trapezium is a quadrilateral whose one pair of the opposite sides are parallel. If the two non-parallel sides of a trapezium are equal, it is called an isosceles trapezium. Let's now take a trapezium PQRS to find its area. The following steps are involved. Step 1. Draw SA perpendicular to PQ and QB perpendicular to SR. Clearly, SA 
is equal to BQ is equal to height of the trapezium, which is say H. Join vertices S and Q. Step 2. Area of trapezium PQRS is equal to area of triangle PQS plus area of triangle QRS. Now we know area of triangle is equal to half into base into height. So accordingly we will write half into PQ into SA plus half into SR into QB. Now SA is equal to BQ is equal to H units. Therefore, we will write half into PQ into H plus half into SR into H. Now, taking half and H common, we will write half into in bracket PQ plus SR into H. Further, we will write half into A plus B into H as PQ is equal to A and SR is equal to B. So, area of trapezium PQRS is equal to half in bracket A plus B into H square units or we can further say half into sum of parallel sides into distance between these parallel sides. Thank you everyone.